Good morning, friends. This is Shruti from PD Tutorials Office Group. Today, I'm back again with one more new topic that is describing the images. I have collected here in this uh, webinar some of the new uh, describing the images uh, which are coming these days in exam. Plus, side by side, I will also be discussing how to tackle any new image. Because when we are giving the exam, at that time, we are not aware that which particular image I'm going to have in my paper. So if you have already prepared uh, some of the questions from the repeated stuff, but suddenly that particular repeated question did not came, come in your paper, then in that case, a little bit hesitation will be there. And that will be giving you less score for your fluency. And describe images. This is the utmost important question in uh, speaking section. If you do any kind of blunders in your uh, fluency, then score for your fluency will not be good. And the moment we do any kind of changes in our fluency, means fluency score is less, it's very difficult for us to get speaking 90 out of 90. When our target is only 79 plus, at that time, Speaking is that particular module where we have to get we have to get 90 out of 90 in speaking. And these days, what I have analyzed from some of some of the scorecards, if you are fluent in your paper, only then completely fluent, no fumbleness anywhere. Only then you will be getting 90 out of 90. So we'll be discussing the each and everything related to how actually you have to describe the image. One more thing I want to add here. I'm not going to use any kind of template. I always uh, say this thing to my students that templates are just some coherent words that you usually need when you are speaking to someone, when you are telling your feelings about something to any other person. Just imagine this thing that software, this computer screen, is your friend and you are going to talk to that person. You are going to talk to the software. Just in that way, uh, you have to maintain your fluency. So no template, nothing like that you should use. Just be fluent and we'll be telling you how to actually gather the points, gather the keywords in your mind and then on your notepad and then on the screen means you are speaking now step by side step i'll be discussing each and everything whatever the queries you will be having will be discussed only regarding describing the image if you have any question regarding describing the image post it in the question box after finishing this uh, webinar i'll be explaining those questions to yours so let's start with today's webinar that is new describe images and how to tackle them. When suddenly you get a new picture in front of you, you haven't seen it before. The very first instruction that will be given in your paper is look at the image below. In 25 seconds, please speak into the microphone and describe in detail what the graph is showing. You will have 40 seconds to give your response. 25 seconds to prepare for yourself and then 40 seconds to give your response. Before I move ahead, I just want to say one thing, scoring criteria. Scoring criteria for speaking, describe images, what PT score guide says, that is five marks for your fluency, five marks for your pronunciation, and five marks are also for the content. But content, it doesn't matter, reason, Content matters in those tasks when it comes to uh, one integrated task. And from this task, describing the image, you always get speaking score. And speaking is dependent on your fluency pronunciation. How to do the brainstorming? The moment you see any new picture, your mind, even your, your whole self, it, um, it fumbles. You, you just start getting hesitated. Huh? What to speak? I'm not getting anything to speak. So let's do how actually we have to do the brainstorming in those 25 seconds, which are given to me to prepare one image. 
but before that i just want to understand you all make you understand you all that what is the basic meaning of describing the image if i say describe this image i have one picture there are 100 students present in the class suppose i don't assume this thing that every student who is present in the class they will be describing one particular image in one way only and the words will be completely the same can i say this thing no so that is why describe image means in your own words you have to describe it how a person can take one image what you can infer from it this is called describing the image and one more thing you can even experiment this thing with yourself only suppose you have two three in a months for your real exam start preparation start your preparation for the, uh, describing the image one image you have spoken for it for say 30 seconds today after 10 days just to open that image again and tell me will you be able to speak exactly the same as you did it 15 days before i don't think so main keywords you will be taking the same but there can be the changes in your sentence formation this is what i'm saying describing the image it is not at all a phobia it is just something i have given you one image describe it in your own words simple nowhere it is mentioned in the pd score guide that see this image you have to talk about these particular characteristics of this image is there any particular one table mentioned on the screen in the paper that for this particular image talk about its heading talk about its uh, x axis y axis each and every trend talk about its conclusion nothing is given like that they have even given the whole command of this question to you only. And nowhere it is mentioned that you cannot describe about these things and you should have to describe only these things. So why not we do the brainstorming by ourselves and then we just produce our own sentences. So as in the last slide, I just wrote what you can infer i'm from basically mathematics background if i see one image my mind will be telling me about its shape its size definitely i'm going to speak about these things in my describing the images if i do not have anything to speak at that time you can talk about its shape its size color appearance now appearance i remember in school time when i was in sixth standard um my uh, geography teacher at that time first time uh, we have introduced our uh, maps and you also get maps in this describing the images people have so many difficulties in describing the maps why we take the image as it is a map you, as I said, appearance. I remember my teacher, she was a genius lady. Um, first time I saw on the map, Australia map. On the uh, globe, Australian map was shown to us. First time I was in sixth standard. And how a sixth standard student will be recalling that this is Australia out of so many different shapes which are present on the globe. How to identify that Australia from rest of the countries and rest of the continents of, the, of this world? My teacher said, just assume that and you can also uh, have the Australian map in your mind and she said it, it just looks like it's a dangerous mountain huge humongous mountain isn't it it is the same that's why i said i have included here its appearance you can talk about its appearance how you feel that it looks like a bird it looks like a um 
a room it looks like a door just imagine when you see towards something continuous you are you are continuously you are gazing towards something your mind will start making one image there sometimes we start seeing some masks there am i right why don't you implement all those things as we all are capable to think you just have to broaden your thinking and describe the images there is no need to go for weird templates no always follow such things for which your heart will also say i will be saying uh, this is genuine what i am doing and don't know after few few months ha huh, pt is changing some things in their scoring criteria are they going to reveal anything no then why from the very starting we always follow a very straight path that this is describe image i do not have to use the template i will use my own strategies i will use my own thinking i will first i will broaden my thinking next if you have two images means it is the combination of two images definitely at that time it is a comparison you can also compare one thing which is present on the screen with some other thing sometimes not sometimes i would say 80% times you get such images in front of you which are having some data written on it talk about even uh, if the numbers are written you can also talk about this there are some numbers written on the screen like 1 2 3 4 4 am i not describing it yes i am describing it if some words are present and the names of some companies are written talk about there is no need to frame the sentences by taking those names of the companies you can also speak in this way there are the names written on the screen of some companies and these names are number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 this is also the sentence formation it's up to you there is no need to go with the complex structure here in describing the image because i have to take care of my fluency and if my fluency will not be okay then i'm not getting anything from this question moving further i have taken here this image these days it is common and uh, very new what things i can add here it's only the cars i can see only one heading is there nothing i have suddenly in first 4 to 5 seconds what things i can have in my mind you have a notepad you have a marker in bad handwriting write only what you have to speak only the headings heading is there vehicle ownership new zealand 2001 2013 i can make one sentence from here you can also talk about the number of cars present in the picture who has told you to speak about that first row is like this and second row is like this whatever i can infer i'll i'm going to speak simple number of cars count them there are six cars one more sentence i have then years which years are mentioned 2001 2013 after that what i can add one more line by just the combination of years and number of cars that in in the year 2001 i can see three cars on the bar on the horizontal bar again in the 2013 year also again i'm just seeing three cars on the given bar horizontal bar graph is someone going to ask you why you are speaking but whatever you are speaking it's correct as per the image no one has given you uh, this thing that you have to frame your sentence only in this way no where it is mentioned no where neither pt software um, score guide is telling you open the pt score guide go to that describe image portion they will not know where it will be mentioned that 
you have to frame your sentences in this way only. Now I can uh, further one. I can frame one more sentence. That is horizontal paragraph. Yes, these uh, earlier we used to see um, vertical paragraph. So this is horizontal. You can add one more line. But still, my time is pending because these four to five sentences I can speak in say 15 seconds, but I have to speak for at least 35 seconds at least. But these days I'm saying this thing earlier. It was not the case because I think that they have done some changes that you have to speak more. Only then the software will be giving you the scores for your fluency. So speak more. So how to speak more? Let's check what else I can add from my side. Start talking about the features of cars, its material, its body shape, wheels, etc. You just have to do one thing. That is just linger on your words. That's it. Your content. It's just like first you have taken one step then second step, then third step, and then fourth step. But just imagine to go from one step to another step. You do not have to walk. Rather, you have to hold the twine in your hands, and then you have to go towards the up, upper steps. This is the thing you have to do. Create a chain of words. This is the best thing that you have to do when you are describing the images. In the last image, as I said, cars. What else I can speak about cars? I, we all are aware what kind of material uh, is used in, in making the car. What are the features of the cars? Its body shape, its wheels. What else I can add? You can also speak about this thing that compare the modern era with all the and just to say in the end, as many people, they will be saying conclusion is very important, but I don't think so. Software is not waiting for me that when Shruti will be speaking the word conclusion or any synonym of the word conclusion, then I'm going to give her the best score. It's nowhere in the software will be mentioned. If you are a software developer, suppose many of you will be who are attending the session. Can you tell me this thing that during uh, if you are uh, you are developing one software huh? at that time you are going to add these kind of features in the software that if a person will be speaking about the conclusion only then give that person the best score. I never ever think so though I'm not from IT background but this is what my mind says not on the basis of one word and then synonym software is going to judge me software is going to judge my fluency. No. Fluency means you have to take care of your things. Number one, don't take unnecessary long pauses. Number two, you have to keep one pace. Don't go with um, earlier you have started your uh, any picture or any retail lecture with a very fast tone and with a very fast speed. And in the end, you just decreased your speed. This thing should not be done. And the last thing will be, are you speaking in English? Yes, only these are the few things on the basis of uh, which the software is going to give you the scores for your fluency. Nothing else. That is why on some websites, some links on Quora.com, especially people have given their uh, judgments about this paper that this paper in speaking it's all about if you need only speaking score now forget about rest of the scores you just have to make the software for you because speaking score is dependent on fluency and software has nothing to do in uh, related to that what you are speaking how you are speaking are you speaking in english you are not taking unnecessary longer pauses on the basis of this and your pace is very important software is going to give you the score for your fluency. Now what else I can add as I have to increase my word count in my speech. Compare the modern era with all them and just to say in the end its usage is more 
the moment I have added the word usage, I got one more clue to extend my one or one and a half more sentence. Like its usage is more nowadays. We are more transport dependent as compared to the olden era. Consequently, diseases are also increasing like obesity because we don't walk nowadays. And even I have concluded also this picture. If the comparison is there, only this are, these are the things that someone is going to tell me about this image. Now, this is just the rough idea how you can make a layout of this picture. But being a tutor, what I would be making my sample answer, let's check that. The given picture is telling about the vehicle ownership in New Zealand in the year 2001 and 2013. Three, it is a horizontal bar graph in which six cars are shown. I can clearly see in the image that in the first row, there is one car in the segment, second segment, and two cars in the third segment. There is no need to speak about what it is. I can own, there were only three segments in the first row, in the second row also. Some segments are wider as compared to the other ones. There is one car in the second segment, two cars in the third segment. Similarly, in the next row, second segment is widest among, amongst all three segments, but the number of cars are same in both the rows. Furthermore, I can also infer that cars are the most used modes of mode of transport these days, and if we compare its usage with olden times, it has been increased at a very high rate. Simple. Try to create a chain between the words. Always keep this thing in your mind. If you want to do 100% justice with yourself and with PT software, follow this thing. Rather to follow the template. I remember just going to share one thing with you all. People are there who will be cramming the one paragraph for describing the images, for all the describing the images, whatever they will be getting in their paper. In that template, there will be it, the words will be written in this way, huh? The bar graph slash line graph slash pie chart slash diagram slash blah blah. Because in describing the images, you may have 10 to 12 types of images. Sorry. So, but when I was cramming that particular paragraph for myself, I have crammed it in this way. The bar graph represents this. The bar graph represents this. The bar graph represents this. So what happens actually? In your paper, you are going to start one image. You're going to describe one image, but suddenly on the screen, bar graph is not present, pie chart is present. But the moment you start speaking, because of the pressure of the exam, it tends that you may fumble somehow. No doubt you have practiced so many describing the images. But what happens if you will, you are going to start suddenly from your mouth, whatever you have crammed, huh, wrote learning. You spoke the bar graph. And your eyes are not seeing the bar graph on the screen. If you will speak that this is a bar graph, still it doesn't matter but just have to maintain the fluency. But your eyes have given the command to your mind. See, I'm not seeing any kind of bar graph. And you will fumble suddenly, ah, this is pie chart. Fumbleness is there now, fluency gone. And in the starting, you have fumbled, fluency is gone. That will be putting, putting impact on your rest of the 25, 30 seconds, 35 seconds. And not only for that image only. Because of that thing that you have fumbled, rest of the questions are also going to suffer. Yes, this happens. So better 
try to do such things so that you can do the justice with everything. Try to create a chain between the words. Creating the chain between the words is giving you the best thing. It's just like putting the arrows between the words. This and this and this and this. That's it. Why I have to create a chain only? Software has no answers for describing the images. This is the thing. A few minutes back, I explained this thing. One image, 100 students, 100 out of 100 will not be, its probability is not equal to one that each and every student is going to explain one image in the same way. The words will be completely the same. But on the other side, many of from those 100 students, many may get the same scores, though their words are not same. Their sentences are not same, but still software has given them the same score. Why? Because it doesn't have any its own answers. And why the software would have its own answers? As any person, each person is going to explain one image in different way. Today I'm going to explain this image of uh, um, the last image about cars. I have just seen it. Ask me about 15 days. Ma'am, please explain it. I'm going to change some of the words because at that time, whatever the mind is giving me the command to infer from the image, I'll be going to speak only those words, those sentences. That's why I. this is my favorite task. It actually captures, it actually examines your mind's presence. How wide you can think about something. Assume that this is a challenge for you. Rather to just get away from this task. Moving further. One more image. It's about Dell does closed loop recycling. New image, this one. You can talk about sort and shared, shred, collect and recycle, purchase and use, assemble and ship, mold and manufacture. I have written here its complete response as it should be. The graph shows the information about the way how Dell does closed loop recycling according to the image. One more thing. Have you seen this thing? The graph shows the information about according to the image and the second step after analyzing the key aspects. Why I have to cram these things? When I'm talking to someone, I can automatically add these things in my speech, in my conversation to that person. Uh, I have gone there and uh, after that I was uh, just doing this thing. So after that I was, this is what? And just for these words, we just look for the templates. When you make yourself dependent on template, it becomes difficult to clear this paper, not only because of the case of dependency on the template, because on the case of you are depend, you have made yourself dependent on something. And it's going to put bad impact, the strategies that you will be following, huh? it's going to put bad impact on your reading and listening section. I know template has nothing to do with your reading blanks and your listening. But I mean to say this thing that you're not doing the justice with your brain. Why I have to depend on something to explain something? And listening, understanding is important, but we follow after the strategies. Strategies follow the strategies, but in a right way. Strategies doesn't mean that you have to just go blindly on one road. Talk about the grammar in something. Talk about the nouns, adjectives, adverbs. The more you will be opening something, huh? the more you will be opening the content of one paragraph, of one audio, the more things you are adding into your mind, your brain. 
if it has our mind has so many things vast things the more you will be able to read with meaning the more you will be able to listen with meaning the more you will be able to speak with meaning the more you will be able to write with meaning this is what pd software needs from us second sentence i have framed in this way according to the image the first step is to collect plastics and deliver to closed look operation in the second step plastics are sorted and shredded at the manufacturing facilities then molded into new parts the next step is to assemble computers and deliver to different retail stores so customers can make a purchase after analyzing the key con aspects it can be concluded that this image shows crucial information about the way how dell does closed loop recycling which is strongly supported by data and facts my last line is nothing uh, related to the content i have just rephrased it what i have spoken in the very first sentence as if you, still you have this phobia in your mind na, that i have to conclude one image whatever you have spoken in the starting speak again those paragraph those uh, particular words in your last sentence rephrase it simple moving further this is the image teaching as a career final year student who want to be a teacher these are one person graduate students working in teaching seven percent and employed in teaching field and um, these are 95 percent and i have written here the graph shows the information about the percentage of people who take teaching as a career it can be clearly seen that the largest figure can be found in uh, employed in teaching field and which is 95 percent this is followed by graduate students working in teaching with seven percent on the other hand the smallest portion can be found in final year students who want to be a teacher which is only one person and still if you think that your time is pending speak again the very first sentence that's it now this is the image again a kind of map and a kind of biograph it's a combination of these two very new image all these images are newer the keywords i'm going to write heading i can talk about heading heading is here the given picture the given image is telling me about the annual change in forest area by region 1990 to 2010. further i can speak about its colors dark green light green dark red and uh, gray color is present rest of uh, you can speak about glow it's a globe if you see a globe, what is made on the globe? Seven continents. Name them then. Talk about the scale. It's mentioned here. You can also talk about in the left of this globe, scale is mentioned, which is telling me that one million hectare is equal to, is measured as one unit. Then I can talk about the years which are mentioned in the last portion talk about the years mentioned <coughs> this is the image uh, it's complete response sample response the image shows about annual change in forest area by region between 1990 and 2010 the south american region these are present here africa asia europe north and central america oceania and south america net gain million hectare per year is also mentioned this is the units in which it is explained this graph is measured the south american region showed the biggest decline in forest area amounting to an average of 4 million hectare every year during the period from 1990 to 2010 followed by the african region which showed an annual decline in forest area of 3 million hectare in oceania the rate of decline in forest area has accelerated since 2000 on the year other hand asia showed the biggest net gain in forest areas accounting for 2 million hectare per year from 2000 to 2010 after analyzing the key aspects, it can be concluded that this image shows crucial information about annual change in forest area by region between this and this, which is strongly supported by data and facts. I'm not asking you to go with only this sample answer. You may get some other sample. You may also frame your sample answer. Talk about only these things. 
but being a tutor i has i have to give you the best thing so this is the best thing out of it this is also a new image now nothing is written that's why i have taken this image how to tackle such images when you don't have anything written on the screen then how to tackle it as i said when you get two pictures it's a combined portion of two pictures it means it's a comparison you can also see it's a comparison what i'm going to speak here when you have two images as i just said comparison is there means you can speak in this way in the left image i have this in the right image i have this what you can see start talking about those things which you are now able to see on the screen man sitting on a chair color of chairs table height of table monitor screen man is playing huh as i have to follow the word of chains i'm saying man is playing video game now video game is that word which will be giving me so many new further words to frame my new more sentences and to which will actually help me to speak more video game i got one more clue clue is watching television so closely put stress on our eyes poor posture will be maintained in that case too if you continuously watch for 7 8 hours you are watching tv your posture will not be the same your posture is going to be um, poor posture will be there give advice now in conclusion sit straight and maintain a distance from the screen otherwise you will become couch potato and i sight would suffer you have given the conclusion also generally in conclusion we advise i'm repeating two images comparison should be there try speaking like this way this uh, left image is say, saying this to me right image i have this what you can see further in the left image in the right image left image man sitting on a chair in the right image also the man is sitting on the chair but with a poor posture you can check color of the chairs green or right table height of the table monitor screen is on the desk is on the table further man is playing with your game got the clue to extend my words watching television so closely puts stress on our right eyes poor posture will be maintained in that case too so now give the one advice and the conclusion part that sit straight and maintain a distance from the screen otherwise you will become couch potato and as sight would suffer this is what you have to do i have framed here simple one paragraph not have added uh, these particular points just try to speak something the image shows information about both poor and correct sitting postures respectively if you allow your back to slump your shoulders to roll forward and your chin to poke forward toward the screen it is considered as wrong sitting posture to maintain a proper sitting posture the top of your screen should be at eye level you need to sit still and the chair should completely support your back and thighs after analyzing the key aspects it can be concluded that the image shows crucial information about both poor and proper sitting postures respectively which is strongly supported by data and facts and i am done this is what you actually have to do with your describing the image this is the easiest task of all the 20 tasks of speaking paper it is something like you just have to speak for 35 40 seconds just that thing now coming to your questions owen is asking how pte scores on your content content matters owen then um you have one integrated task 
but in describe images you get only the score for your speaking Pratipan is asking how you are doing I'm doing well so then Sudhir is asking is it required to maintain same base of voice yes of course you have to follow the same base never ever do any kind of changes in the pace because software will not be able to judge the things then in a better way and scores will be low i have seen these kind of results too people are appearing for the exam again and again just because of speaking they have gotten um, back to back 77 78 77 78 in speaking not because of you are adding um, you are doing some of the mistakes in your fluency or pronunciation those are also high even more than 80 but still the combined score of speaking uh, for fluency and pronunciation their combined score is not good reason is not 79 because you have done the changes in your this um, pace that is important to maintain the same base throughout your paper, throughout your speaking paper. Manoranjan is asking for some images if we get completely blank, could not find enough. Whatever you can speak at that time, start speaking. Whatever. Whatever you have in front of you, start speaking them. That's it. Just to maintain the fluency. How many questions will be there? Lijo is asking. There can be uh, five to seven questions in your paper for describing the images. Amit is asking, do we need to use uncommon vocab? Never ever do any kind of experiments here in speaking. Why to give, to add such words which are difficult and uh, difficult to pronounce and at that time you are taking risk at the sake of your fluency never do that thing just make it simple the more simpler the more the simpler it would be the more uh, tendency will be there like you will be speaking more and you will be speaking with fluency that is the best thing that i need simple how to review this seminar this is all about komala regarding a webinar of describing the images i have collected here five describing the images which are new and have given you the view how actually you have to work with you are describing the images and he is asking i have a lot of voice modulation work on it try to follow the flat tone neha is asking if you go for 20 25 seconds how much score will be deducted it's nothing like that um deduction will be there deduction means you have earned something and now scores are deducted you will not get more credit i would say and no one can tell you this thing about it how many marks software is not going to give you it's only the software knows and the software developers know prati is asking if our tone is up and down the more fluctuations are there in your tone rest score for pronunciation will be there always remember this thing watch the webinar repeatedly getting this score in uh, speaking i have explained there with the graph by showing you the picture harshita is asking if we make mistake in opening statement about graphs and the next sentence we corrected it with the right tone the moment you have gone back and you have corrected yourself fluency went down if for the very first line you have spoken say bar graph but the picture was by chart let it be in the next in the next line you may speak about pie chart it's nothing like that you have introduced to the word bar graph so you have to again and again speak about only bar graph but your mind is telling you that this is not bar graph if once you have used the word bar graph let it be don't correct yourself No, Vena, no changes in describing the images, only uh, the pictures have been added. Monarch is asking, is it possible to add hard word vocabulary? 
why do uh, do these things take your pt score guide nowhere it is mentioned that uh, you have to speak vocabulary you have to speak vocabulary means each and every word of english dictionary is vocabulary but nowhere it is mentioned that if you will be speaking very difficult words and your speech and your speaking paper you are going to have some uh, good marks nothing like that you just maintain the fluency in speaking paper correct my palate to your chin your breathing sound should not be captured by the microphone or the best thing will be rather to keep it on chin best thing will be keep it on the parallel of your nose depth that is the best. it gets very less sounds less breathing sounds anuj is asking anju is asking i'm sorry how to practice to remain in same pace while speaking speak more simple more you will be speaking more you will be able to know this thing that the more you will be speaking the more you will be able to know this thing that i am speaking with the same pace or not it's all about your practice intonation avoid intonation amit you, intonation means more fluctuations less call for pronunciation ram is asking if uh, in di spoken sentence and complete for once it is okay but for again and again if you are doing so let like that 40th second was running huh? but your sentence was not completed at that time it may put bad impact if again and again you are going to do so once it's okay darshan is asking someone has speech stammering problem does this condition affect of course i had few students earlier who were having the stammering problem and their fluency pronunciation was suffering and that guy was superb in rest of the sections only because of stammering this uh, problem he wasn't able to get good score in fluency and pronunciation Kishore is asking can we speak the more content which is not available in the image yes you can speak this is what kishore i did in my this webinar aparna as i said you are asking about content important in di i would say better go with genuinity rather to follow the fake things bhavani is asking ma'am i'm worried whether it takes time to frame sentences that's why na in your practice days write on write small small words on your copy and one more tip i want to give here suppose you in those 25 seconds the preparation time you have you have written some of the words in your copy on your copy so don't keep your notepad in your hands rather keep your notepad in the vertical position and just place it parallel to your monitor screen why i am saying this so that screen or the, the image is on the screen and side by side parallelly you can see your words it will help you to frame the sentences and one more thing just imagine your notepad is in your hands on your desk huh again and again your eyes are moving like on the screen on the notepad on the screen on the notepad you may fumble try to keep them parallel so that you can speak in a better fluency and you can speak you can frame the sentences in a better way does not saying if recording stops in the middle of speaking then it's your bad luck no one can help you even pte they will not be uh, considering that there was some technical issue from there and and there will not be any intimation notification on the screen that you, yes your microphone is not working change it something like that this is the bad thing actually you just have to reappear in that case i have seen such cases also <laughs> all for uh, today's class today's webinar
I hope you like the session. You can give me the feedback of my webinar in PT Tutorials Telegram group and uh, through which you have joined this webinar. There are also feedback portal is present. So please give me the feedback for this webinar. It's very, really, very important for me. Thank you so much for joining the webinar.